Welcome back guys, Lone Star Patriot here, thanks for joining me. So I did a video a while back covering the BRD Engineering dimpling jig, specific to one of the gas blocks that I most commonly use, which is a BCM low profile gas block. Now that specific gas block has a center to center spacing on the set screws of 0.46 inches. Now that same gas block dimpling jig will also accommodate a couple of the manufacturers. However, a lot of times I didn't want to be limited to just that specific center to center spacing, knowing that there's other gas blocks out there on the market, as well as of course some rails will come with gas blocks as well. So I wanted to have the versatility of accommodating different set screw spacings with one simple jig. So what I did is I picked up this BRD engineering jig, which has three different center to center spacings for the set screws. So it has a lot of versatility to accommodate pretty much everything out there on the market. Market, at least that I would be interested in purchasing and using on a rifle. So what I'm going to do is let's jump inside and we'll take a look at some of the unique features of this specific jig. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll run through the specs on this jig. We'll also do a comparison between this jig and the other jig I have from BRD Engineering just to show you some of the differences between the two. And then we'll finally wrap up by actually dimpling a barrel using this specific jig. Okay, so starting with the specs. So this is model 1A-HT, which stands for Hex Triple Gas Block Dimpling Jig. Now, according to BRD, this is made from a 1045 carbon steel. It is made from a hex stock, given that you see it has the six sides, which of course accommodates the three different set screw spacings. Now, in terms of the heat treatment, it is heat treated to a Rockwell hardness of 60. It also has this black zinc coating that we'll look at in comparison to the other coating on the other jig here in a second. And then also it includes this 1164 cobalt drill bit, as well as of course the Allen key for the set screws. Now, speaking of the set screws, it does come with these two set screws, a part of the jig. So it does have this black set screw, which is basically your indexing set screw that has a pointed tip, and this will index with the gas port on your barrel. And then you have a secondary set screw, which has a soft point just to help lock this jig in place. Okay, so just to do a quick comparison on the finishes. Now, of course, I've got the new jig on the right, which again has that black zinc coating finish, whereas I've got the existing jig on the left. Now this is the model 1A, which accommodates a center to center sketch screw spacing of 0.46 inches. Now the material for both jigs are actually identical, so both are made from a 1045 carbon steel. However, the finishing process between the two is completely different. So on the model 1A, this is actually finished with a media blast, and then it has a manganese phosphate finish, say similar to what you'd find on a typical mil spec BCG. Now the finish on this is actually held up very well, in fact there's really no noticeable wear and tear, and I've used this jig quite a bit. Comparatively, on the new jig, which I have yet to use, you can already see some of the finish flaking off. Now, the reason I point this out is that in my case, this is more of an aesthetic issue given that I use, say, both jigs in a controlled environment. However, if you're using this in, say, a high humidity environment, or of course, if it's exposed to the elements, you wanna be conscious that, of course, you don't have any excessive rust, particularly in the bore of these jigs, to where it might cause an issue when you actually dimple your barrel. Okay, so the biggest advantage of this jig, in my opinion, is of course the versatility. So this accommodates three different center to center set screw spacings for low profile gas blocks. And this basically will cover the majority of the low profile gas blocks on the market. So for example, if you run through this, and actually I'll roll in some pictures at the end to clearly identify these markings, but the markings specific to the center to center spacing are actually laser engraved on the jig, which is nice. So for example, we have the half inch spacing, we have the 0.46 inch spacing, and then we finally have the 0.42 inch spacing. Okay, so to better explain the versatility of this jig in terms of the three different center to center set screw spacings that are available, I wanna run through a couple different options that capture all three sizes. So for example, as I mentioned earlier, the BCM low profile gas block has a center to center spacing at 0.46 inches. Meanwhile, this Geisley actually captures the low end of the spectrum in terms of center to center spacing at 0.42 inches. Meanwhile, on the highest end of the spectrum, this Ballistic Advantage low profile gas block has a center to center spacing of 0.5 inches. Now actually, to demonstrate the use of this jig, I'm gonna be installing this particular gas block on a barrel, so we'll be using the half inch spacing. Okay, so the first step is of course to remove the low profile gas block, assuming that your barrel comes with a gas block to expose the gas port location on the gas block journal. And then from there, you wanna determine, of course, the set screw spacing of the low profile gas block to be sure that the jig itself matches up exactly with that spacing. So for example, I'm using the Ballistic Advantage low profile gas block, which has the center to center spacing of 0.5 inches. Therefore, I've adjusted my set screws on the dimpling jig to match that same spacing. 
Now, what I want to do next is slide the jig onto the barrel, leading with the black or the pointed set screw. And I'm trying to index this pointed black set screw with the gas port itself. So as I slide this on, I'm going to tighten the set screw just enough to where it protrudes into the bore of the jig. And then I can feel it seat into the gas port on the barrel. And then from there, I can gently tighten that down. And again, double checking as I go to be sure that it's still seated. Get that set screw tight. And then from there, I can tighten the second set screw just to lock the jig in place. Okay, so with the jig secured onto the barrel, I've gone ahead and mounted my barrel into a vise. Now, one disadvantage about this particular jig over, say, the 1A jig is that given that it has six sides, it doesn't have the flats or the shoulder sections like the 1A jig does to make it simple to mount into a vise. So what I did is actually installed a couple of sacrificial blocks. Now, these are just pine two by fours. And so you want to find something that is certainly a softer material than your barrel so that when you tighten this down against your barrel in a vise, you're not obviously crushing the barrel. Okay, so as I was drilling the two dimples, I realized that both the drill and my hand were blocking the angle to give you a good perspective. So fast forward to this point, and I now have both dimples completed. Now, a couple tips on the process. The first is going to be to be sure that you have your drill set on a low speed setting. That way you don't over drill and remove too much material. Now, speaking of depth, all you're trying to remove, I'd say, is about a 32nd of an inch from the barrel surface. And then the third thing is that this is actually a 416R stainless barrel. However, if you're using, say, a 4140 or 4150 CMB barrel, you want to be sure that you treat the raw steel at both the dimples as well as potentially the slot location if you do have a pin gas block, and that way you prevent corrosion. Now, the 416R stainless inherently has non-corrosive properties, so it's not an issue here. But the blueing compound I use typically is from Brownells. It's the Oxypho Blue. I find that it does a very good job. However, any blueing compound will certainly work. All right, guys. So right up to the video covering the BRD Engineering gas block dimpling jig that accommodates up to three different set screw spacings for low profile gas blocks. Now, the first thing I want to mention is going to be the biggest selling point of this jig is the versatility. So according to BRD Engineering, this jig will accommodate 19 different manufacturers all of which are very high quality manufacturers of low profile gas blocks. And I'm sure there's other manufacturers as well that you can use this jig on as long as they follow one of these three set screw spacings. So basically you've got a one stop shop of using this jig with essentially any particular gas block that you might want to install. So again, that's the biggest selling point to me. Now the second thing is going to be the price. So this retails for about $60. It's certainly not an inexpensive option, relatively speaking to other options out there in the market. But based on my experience with the other dimpling jig from BRD, it's been a certain, certainly a high quality dimpling jig and I expect nothing less from this. Also along the same lines is that if you are gonna be building a lot of rifles, especially dimpling barrels, you know, one or two trips to the gunsmith, this particular jig can pay for itself. So from that perspective, it's a very good investment. So hopefully you found the video helpful. Maybe you consider purchasing this specific jig, but thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and keep it a good fight. What I want to do is cover actually an additional dig, dig, dig. I have, of course, the new jig, which has the blink. blink. Welcome back, guys. Let's start fetching here. Thanks for joining me. So I did a video.